Hi class, my name is Cindy. Today we're going to be doing the burning magnesium experiment. So the first thing you're going to need are safety goggles and your lab coat. Also, if you're a girl, tie your hair up like me so you don't want to get it all burnt. Um, we're also going to need a Bunsen burner, which is, looks like this. And the Bunsen burner is going to be connected to the gas valve here. Now, as you can tell, it's connected by a piece of um, rubber tubing. So first you want to check that the tubing has no cracks in it or no slits, as this could leak gas everywhere and that would be bad. You're also going to need a flint, which looks like this, and it's basically a spark. And this is to use to light the Bunsen burner. We're also going to be using tongs, which is to grab the magnesium. Magnesium looks like this, and it comes in the shape of a ribbon. So we're just going to be taking a little bit of that. Okay. So here's the magnesium ribbon that the teacher will have prepared for you. It looks like this, just a small little piece of magnesium. Okay, so here are some rules to lighting the Bunsen burner. After making sure that the rubber tubing is safe, you want to take note of the gas valve here. That allows the... Um, the amount of gas that goes through the Bunsen burner. There's also the oxygen tube here, which if you screw or unscrew it, allows the amount of oxygen being allowed into the tube. Okay, so right now we're gonna light the Bunsen burner and see what happens to the burning piece of magnesium ribbon. So in order to light the Bunsen burner, we're gonna turn the gas valve on first and follow the 30 second rule. If you cannot light the Bunsen burner in 30 seconds, turn the gas valve off. That's a bright flame, okay. So we want to try to get a blue flame. And we're just going to adjust the valves. Okay, so as you can see, there's a blue flame. This means that the flame is hot enough for us to put the magnesium ribbon in. So here's the magnesium ribbon. It looks like this, it's just a piece of ribbon. We're gonna pick it up with our tongs and we're gonna put it over the hottest part of the flame. Be careful not to stare at it too intensely because this may hurt your eyes. So here it goes. and record the reaction in your lab reports.